Hey everybody, welcome back from your trip. Come on in, grab your bags. <coughs> welcome home. I'm glad you remembered the way home. How do we remember to get back to God? Do we find the aroma? Do we follow our nose? Maybe the scent of God. <coughs> or breathe in the familiar smell, the aroma of cannabis, calming, pleasing, fulfilling, satisfying, especially to your spirit. It's spiritual milk. Yes, First Peter 2 says, offer spiritual sacrifices, building a temple with craving pure spiritual milk. So, I want to continue in Micah really quick, and in Micah, I'm sorry, not Micah, but Jeremiah 31, God says in verse 20, the annotation is, remember the road home. So this has all about Hansel and Gretel put little breadcrumbs down, and then, I don't know, they all got eaten. Yes, well, there's a story that the seed drops, and the angels, or the Satan eats the word, or the angels eat the word, or we get choked by the word, or we love the word, wherever it falls. But if you had the aroma of cooked food, and then you saw the fire, you would totally know where you're going. Yes, we can get back to heaven by the aroma, and following the map of the book, we learn all about the family history coming out of Egypt. And then we came out of, um, Matthew then describes coming Joseph's coming out and a voice of calling, a voice one calling in the wilderness. And that is what I'm doing. Calling. Hello. You want to come out? You want to come out? The hidden man inside. The hidden man, manna. The hidden man is waiting to come out and be your top priority. He's jealous. He wants to love you. She wants to embrace you. At that point, that is oneness. So, Oneness with cannabis. Make road markers for yourselves. Make road markers for yourselves. Tie something on a tree. I don't know. Lay some bread. Hansel and Gretel. We're totally trying to get back to Grandpa's house. Right? Make road markers for yourself. Set up landmarks for yourself. Set the thoughts of your heart upon the road the route that you are walking return O maiden of Israel and if that is not the beautiful sentence of a ship on its maiden voyage that is lost at sea and it's the sea of reeds and we're wandering in the rough waters and yet we're going to be like Jonah and jump off and then we're not going to run down to Jesus and go, Hey, can you save us? Because we know that God is the storm. We're going to finish with this. People say that when you're going through the storm, Jesus will save you. Well, if you can talk to the wind and you know that God is the wind, you can ask the storm, Hey, why are, we, why are we, why are you and I going through this together? Was it something I did? Most likely. So then you can apologize. But if you didn't do anything yesterday and you read today and you're planning on reading tomorrow, that's yesterday, today, and tomorrow. At that point, that's a three-day head start among everybody else. So it says, O maiden of Israel, return to the city that is yours. How long will you slip away, O wayward daughter? For Hashem has created something new in the world that the women will court the man baruch hashem to a little prophecy of it's gonna flip where the woman becomes the branch and that becomes your wife and the marriage made in heaven matchmaker matchmaker make me a match and light me on fire baruch hashem